I had uh, announcement by various MPs that they have formed a caucus uh, on an issue of the amendment of our constitution through parliament. I, I don't know what they are up to, but uh, as an initiator and a proponent on behalf of, of a new constitution on behalf of Kenyan workers and Kenyan population, I'm 100% completely opposed to that caucus. And they must rethink and consult widely. Because BBI, when the popular, we popularized it, we went into, uh, we went to the public, we were in Kisumu, we were in Kakamega, we were in Narok, we were in Meru, we were in Mombasa, popularizing BBI. After, th that, uh, after popularization by politicians or proponents of BBI, including the president himself, the former prime minister, and various Kenyan top politicians, it went to counties to be, to be on the ticket and be supported and be voted for. And out of 47 counties, 44 counties, county governments or county assemblies approved it. It cannot go back. After that, it went to parliament, it went to senate. It cannot go back to parliament. Issues of IPPG has been overtaken by events. And we can't go back to that. We are moving to Court of Appeal. And I'm 100% sure that the Court of Appeal will annul it, will annul the ruling of the High Court. And as I said earlier on, the ruling of the High Court by five judges had nothing to do with the BBI. It was political, it was personal, it was meant to ridicule the office of the president. It had nothing completely to do with law. And I'm sure even if there would be a newly appointed judge in the Court of Appeal, we will win. And that is where all Kenyans should aim at. The BBI is not going to be decided by caucuses. And I want to tell those people who are dreaming of caucuses to, to abandon that, we are past that. We are no longer there. BBI went through our two august houses, Parliament and the Senate, and it was approved there unanimously. And we cannot go back to Parliament for BBI. We want to go to court. Our lawyers are ready to prove that that was wrong. And there is no any other way other than popular initiative supported. We will go to the referendum and get the support of Kenyans. And those who are afraid of referendum are now the one trying to gang up by, in the name of saying they want caucuses. We are ready for referendum. We are ready for a new constitution. We are ready for BBI. And we are not ready for caucuses. And I want to tell those MPs if they have been sent by some of their masters to know that we are alert, we are watching, we are serious, we are committed, and we are going to have a new constitution before the 2022 elections. Kenyans must know that. We are going to go to the elections under the new constitutional arrangements. So those people who are dreaming that we will have an IPPG or we will have to amend, the, they will not amend what we have amended. And we will not give them that chance to dwell on the constitution that we have. It had experts, it had everything, every input of every Kenyan is in BBI. So let them not dream of another caucuses again and retaking it back to parliament where it was endorsed, and now what Kenyans are waiting for is a referendum. And I want to warn Kenyans, 
let us not play with BBI. And let, if you are playing with the BBI or constitutional amendments, you are playing with the minds of Kenyans. And we are watching. And we are serious. If you have some votes anywhere, prepare your people to say, either to lead no, and we will say yes, and we will say how many Kenyans are for yes. But not through caucuses. We are not prepared for that. And we will not delay it. The elections will be carried out of constitutional, new constitutional arrangements, and that will be after referendum. I can assure Kenyans, I have that authority, and I'm talking with that authority, that we are going to have new constitutional amendments. Change, son. <laughs>